Good day everyone! We will be portraying a scenario in which our patient will be a 10 day old female infant. The patient is in the neonatal ICU with an underdeveloped cranial bone to consider an operation. The role play will be portraying what to do as a phlebotomist when handling neonatal patients. Since our patient is in the neonatal ICU and newborns are most susceptible to infections, the phlebotomist will follow the infection control procedure of the neonatal ICU. Before entering the NICU, she will perform a hand washing procedure before putting on the PPE. At the bottom, we should review and accession the test request. She will only bring necessary items for the specimen collection. The second step is to approach, identify, and prepare the patient. I demands for inpatient newborns under 2 years old are placed in the lower leg. Approach the watcher to verify the identity of the patient. And the identity of the person who confirmed the patient's identity should be noted on the request form. Also, verify the patient's diet restrictions and latex sensitivity. Allergic reactions to latex can have life-threatening reactions upon exposure. Good morning, ma'am. I will be the phlebotomist of the patient. Ano po name at birth date ng patient at ilang days na po? At sino po ang mother ng baby? At yung ina ng pasyente, Ale Tronzal. At yung pangalan naman po ng pasyente ay Kathleen Tronzal. Pinanganak po siya noong March 1 at uh, 10 days old na po siya. Wala naman po siyang mga allergies ma'am tulad ng latex sensitivity po. Wala naman po siyang allergies sa latex sa bilin ng aming doktor. Puhaan na po ba siya ng dugo ngayong araw para po sa mga ibang laboratory tests? Yes ma'am, kanina yung 7.30 ng umaga, ang kinulat na dugo ay para sa hemoglobin determination niya. No type po ma'am, meron po kasi siyang repeat hemoglobin sa lab test request niya po. So, kukunan ko lang po siya ng dugo para po sa blood culture and sensitivity, repeat hematology, hematocrit. PTPA at sa sodium potassium at pinatingin niya po as doctor's order lang po. The third step is to position the patient. Apply a tourniquet and select a puncture site. After selecting the puncture site, remove the tourniquet. Clean and air dry the site. While the site is air drying, she'll be preparing the equipment that is to be used. Inspect the package before aseptically opening and removing the butterfly. Attach the butterfly to an ATS holder. Reapply the tourniquet without touching the cleaned area. Uncap and inspect the needle. When inserting a needle, hold the butterfly needle with your dominant hand. Position bevel up, then insert it using a smooth forward motion at a 30 degree angle. Collect blood in order of draw. Fill in the tubes with the required volume and invert the tubes that contain additives. Place the cotton ball lightly over the side. Place a microcore over the cotton ball. Label the tubes with the patient's name, date of birth, date of time of collection, and the bottom is initials. Dispose of contaminated materials and sanitize hands. Thank the watcher of the patient and transport the specimens to the lab. Thank you po, Ma'am Aliyah. Salamat din, Ma'am.